Well, to all those lucky people out there, Bill Jordan and John Coleman and I get to chat again, and you get to see in on it. Yes. So, hi, yes. Bill. Excited. How are you? I'm doing great, guys. Hope you are. Uh, we are. And, you know, one of the things that we have in common is that we're all retired. Uh, um, and I, okay. Oh, uh, hang in there. Um, where I'm going with this is it took me a while to accept that I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I Dealing with the concept of not having a career, not having a job, or looking at it in the past. Now, that's not necessarily an easy thing. Did you have any right. trouble transitioning into, quote, retirement, Bill? Um, I thought things would go differently. I did initially feel stressed that things were not going as I thought they would. But with the benefit of time, things have worked out very well. Yeah. Uh, but I felt initially a stress of doing something else. I thought I was going to go down another path and didn't. Yeah. Uh, I got into voiceover. So uh, voiceover has helped out a little bit. And it, it does keep me a little bit of an identity of somebody who uses a microphone to, yeah. to bring in some income. But over time, and now at the age of 69, uh, I have accepted that You know, people will say, are you retired? And I used to say, I'm semi-retired. Now yeah. I go, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much retired. You know, yeah. And I, I, think I, that I accept it. Maybe, maybe maybe the focus should be, uh, uh, John, uh, because I was rolling my eyes a little bit. Because John, you're not retired. Well, we uh, we get together at least three four times a week, uh, creating programs and recording sure. interviews and things like that. I think really the focus is, and I notice this in conversations, particularly with you, Bill, uh, that it's leaving like full-time work where you actually show up every day or uh, whether it even be remotely, uh, where you show up every day on a clock, you've got to be there. Uh, you were doing broadcast, so you had a certain schedule. Uh, John and I actually have been more freelancing in our later years, uh, uh, excepting uh, when we went out to shoot commercials. So we were sort of in a hybrid space any place. Uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah. We, we didn't show. But for but, most people, but, they work at a full-time job, and then all of a sudden, they don't right. have any place to go. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's like falling off the cliff for a lot of people. Mm. You know, yeah. here's your yeah, check. Yeah. You know, maybe you get a gold watch, or yeah. you don't get a gold watch. Don't let the door kick you in the butt. That's pretty much it. But see, what you guys are describing though is still a retirement because you're doing what you want to do. Yeah. So it might be as a hobby, but you're making some money out of it. I enjoy doing the voiceover stuff, but I'm not going out and marketing myself and hitting it and making phone calls and emails and, right. and all that stuff that, that the younger folks need to do. I don't have to do that. I enjoy it when I get it. In fact, I got to do an audition here when we get through today. Um, <clears throat> but for where I am now, um, you guys saw the movie Braveheart? Yes. Okay, there's a famous scene where he goes, freedom! Yeah. That's what this is to me. It's freedom. And a, a buddy of mine years ago had retired from IBM. He says, you know what I like best about being retired? I said, what? He went like this. See what I'm not wearing? <laughs> I love watches. I yeah. rarely wear them, though. Well, for one, we all carry the, you know, a, a, a clock on our phone. Yeah. But. Yeah, I don't, you don't have to wear a watch. I like not having to be somewhere other than, you know, having an appointment with you guys to retire. Very, very few things uh, in my life that I've got to be at a certain place at a certain time. And when I do, I, I see it as a little mission. I've got to go over and help our daughter out with watching the kids or pick pick a granddaughter up at school or something. Those are, those are delights. Those are joys. So sure. I view uh, this retirement in this stage of my life, uh, this, is, this is freedom. For me, yeah, flexibility. I think is a is a uh, is a key uh, for us. You know, but we're all in a position. Uh, I would I would say that uh, uh, we have uh, enough flexibility financially so that we're not worried about the next dollar tomorrow. Maybe we are a couple of weeks from now or months from now, depending on if the economy tanks or something like that. But uh, 
not that we're uber comfortable, but you know, we're either paid off or down uh, the line on our mortgages and things like that. Right. Uh, and, and not every day is a struggle of how am I going to uh, 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 pay the, the mortgage at the end of the month or uh, yeah. uh, do we have enough money for food. So we're pro not everybody is that way. So I can see that uh, we almost could call it when every day is a Saturday syndrome. Uh, yeah. That I uh, think to this age freedom, too, depending, we have on, the freedom per, depending to on the things. person at this, at this age, it's like we need yeah. or want less stuff. Yeah. That's true. That's another thing too. I'm not, we're yeah. not trying to acquire stuff. You get right. latched into a lifestyle early on when you're acquiring stuff, then you've got to keep that job so you can pay for the stuff you had to have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I think, prisoner of. I think perhaps, mm. um, it's, it's more psychological than, uh, let's say economic or social. It's a psychology of, uh, all of a sudden you were, you, you had things you had to do. You had to be there. You had to, whatever, you had to earn that money. Mm -hmm. You had to get the check. And now you're in charge of your life and it's Saturday, if you will. And you don't know what to do with yourself. I think if we can figure out each of us individually, figure out what it is we're going to do with the rest of our lives. Then all of a sudden retirement can give you the freedom you're talking about, as opposed to the stress. Right. And, you know, I, I wake up every day. I've got a to do list. I may not get everything done, but I do have things that I'm trying to accomplish um, during that day. And there may be nothing huge. Yeah. It might be don't forget to pay the equity line. Don't forget mm -hmm. to make a car payment, go to the grocery store, whatever it might be. But it, it, it gives you something to do, a purpose for getting yeah. up. Right. right. A reason for living. And enjoying that and enjoying the freedom. I, I, I can't tell you the last time I felt bored. I, right. I just yeah. can't tell you. There's, there's something to do or I love reading enough where I can pick up a book or watch a little bit of news. I can get lost in YouTube for an hour or two. You know, um, it's a great feeling. People don't understand it, but I highly recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I find this to be probably... Uh, the most exciting time because I can do things like if you asked me 10 years ago or 15 years ago, if I'd be reading books on vertical farming or hydroponics, I'd say, huh? Okay. But now if I probably read three, four books on this topic, because I find it fascinating, whereas I probably just never would have done it before. I have the freedom to do that every day. Yep. has something exciting to do. And like you say, picking up uh, uh, the kids from school uh, to help out because uh, uh, one of your kids is on the road and the other parent is doing something else or uh, take them to and from baseball practice or gymnastics. Sure. Yeah, yep. that's great. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is all, correct me if I'm wrong, Bill, but this is all part of your philosophy of embracing that's, the boom, is it not? Ah, yeah. That's it. In, in Enjoying where you are in your life. Don't be bemoaning about the fact that you're getting older and, uh, you know, you're, maybe not everything's working as well as it used to. That is just the way it is. We accept the things we cannot change. We change the things we can, and we have the courage to know the difference, the wisdom to know the difference. So uh, particularly for baby boomers, my fellow baby boomers, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. Amen, brother. Here, here. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.